guys, welcome back to Eidolon. Uh, first up, I apologize that the music and stuff was a little bit too loud last time. I hope you could still hear me just fine, because I am talking a little, sorry, a little bit quieter than normal one, because it's very late at night, people in my house are sleeping, and because, I don't know, I'm playing this game, it's not a very like loud game. So we're going to kind of pick up where we left off. Uh, we were in here, we need to get food. And we're gonna go search for some more beacons, but I think I'm gonna fish for a little bit and wait for the fog to clear so we can better pick out beacons from a distance. Cause this is a big area, so I don't wanna make sure we miss too much. I don't remember how to fish, but I think this is all I do. There we go. We'll get some fish to cook for dinner here. So I don't know how exciting this episode will be, but we're just gonna basically explore this place. So again, I don't know if it's gonna be exciting, if we're gonna, we need to be able to see the bobber, I think. Maybe I don't. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna find. If anything, I might just be walking around a lot. I'm not sure. Okay, that should be enough for now. So this is due north. Ooh, I'm in the water. So let's walk around. All right, I've toggled the run, so we'll just run everywhere today. Again, the bushes are hard to get through, but we'll go around this way first. Keep an eye out for any animals in the distance. Can I walk up this? No. Wonder if we'll ever come across more people. Or if we're like the last ones. Oh, is this the ocean? There might not be much, because this is the ocean. I'll let the fog clear a little bit more, but I might want to turn around. Because I think this is just the ocean. Oh no, there's land over there. Don't know how I'll get there. But there might just be islands in the distance for decoration. I don't know if I can swim. I can't. The water's too cold. I guess I'll go at least out to this point. This is back the way I came. I think that's the road out there, the interstate. So we're gonna cut through the woods and get back to the towers and go back and explore that. I need to, uh... It's been so hot here recently. It's been like a week straight of upper 90s and humidity. It's been terrible. No storms. But I guess that's summer. Otherwise, with my new job for the summer, I'm really enjoying that. But my, I end up enjoying spending all the time with my girlfriend. We've been doing all sorts of trips. 
otherwise my life has been uneventful. Enjoying Avius, been playing a lot of that. Okay, let's go back over here. We found two markers down here, so let's go back to the buildings on the other side here. We spent the night down there. stuck. Oh god, how do I get out of here? This way? Okay, I can't get up this ledge. How do I get out? Okay, there we go. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get up that or not. Alright, over here... Are there any beacons? Wow, the whole building, the whole town is sunk. It's so can't see anything in these freaking bushes, man. There's an island out there. Maybe we should go out on the point of that. That looks like something might be out there. Actually, let's go up on this hill and then we'll go down. That's actually where we came from. We started up there on that hill. Whoa. Ooh, there's something up there. Was that just more mountains? More buildings? I guess we'll need to go that way. It's kind of a creepy atmosphere now. I'm almost getting goosebumps because it's creepy. Because it's amazing. out here and see if there's anything worthwhile. The beacons are just one of those things where it's like, it's so tedious to search every square inch, so like, it's like, I hope they put them in places that are kind of obvious, because sometimes it's just like, there's no way I could find all of them if they were really hidden. Like, all of that forest, I don't know how to keep track of where we were. We really need another map, though. That's what we really need, is another map. Let's go up that way. Looks interesting up there. I don't know if hopping is faster. Is that a bridge? Okay, yeah, let's go over there. I hate these bushes. I'll just eat mushrooms today. And then tonight we shall have fish. Because I can cook it. And there's some building up there. Let's go. Ah, uh, there's the continuation of the road.
place is destroyed, man. What is this green thing? A hut? A tree? A bush? Oh yeah, it's one of these, like, ruins of some sort. We don't know what they're supposed to represent. Yeah, they're ruins of some sort. What is this giant thing? Uh, is it like the road or something? There, there's the road again. in the fall once again. Bellevue was unlike any city I've ever visited before. Once Cedarite was discovered, it became one of the most prosperous cities in the country. The technology and manufacturing industries drew people from around the world, and people were flocking there long before any beacons were erected. Maybe that's why they built a wall around the whole thing, instead of just the city center. We haven't gone inside the wall yet, but Bellevue's infamous towers are still visible dwarfing everything around them. The remains of the shanties are much smaller than I'm used to seeing, maybe because more people are allow were allowed to live in the city proper. The tin and aluminum structures and what vestiges of them there are extend further out than the beacon's influence possibly could have. Those poor naive people living like that in hopes that they might gain a year or gain a year or two might not get sick as easily. It's interesting to think about how different life became once the beacons were erected. There were no more sick days from work, and almost no one was given disability assistance. Social security and the like all ceased to exist. There was no retirement age. The battle over reproductive... reproductive nights took a number of interesting turns, and the medical field was in constant flux for decades. Everything from day-to-day -day activities to politics to war was changed forever. I remember how long it took just to figure out how the military would function. People from beacon cities couldn't fight. There was just no way. They wouldn't die they would die long before they reached a battlefield. The problem was that it was difficult to motivate outsiders to fight when city dwellers couldn't. In the end it was a mixture of beacon related incentives and significant pay increases that did the trick. But by then war was so changed that the government already knew what to do with the soldiers. Eldon almost joined the military more than a few times. He had an idealistic streak when he was younger. He thought it was his duty to protect normals, but he never quite knew how to do it. It was probably for the best that he was always fickle. So like a bird he was, he never quite settled down. He wants to find a way through the wall tomorrow, or over it, whatever is easiest. The evacuation, if you would call it that, was brutal. They locked all of the gates and shot people as they tried to flee the certain death that accompanied, re accompanied remaining in the damp city. The years have not been kind to the wall, but it has been built well by necessity and it still stands firm. I can only imagine what it must look like inside, the streets littered with piles and piles of bones. When Olympia's beacon fell, even if they had been any real government left to give guidance, there would have been no way to enforce it. Here, things were very different. I've had a lot of time to read about these things. Regardless, there still has to be a way in. What we are looking for is inside, and whether I agree with him or not, Eldon has his mind set that it is more important to retrieve it than to keep these ruins intact. Wow. Wow, talk about a bombshell. That was a lot of information. A lot of information. So it looks like the thing about So it does look like we were kind of on the right track about these beacons that you need to be near them to be healthy and it looks like 
they were created, and if you were near them, you became healthy, but if the beacons went down or you left, you basically died. So you had this really weird thing with the population wasn't dying, so you were having people just having babies, and then outside normal people that weren't affected by the beacons. That's weird. And so these cities were basically built after the rest of it crumbled, and they were like little shelters and towns, but... Oops. But the people... The people, I don't know. That's so weird. Thy very songs, not in thy songs, no special strands to sing, none for itself, but from the whole resulting, rising at last and floating, a full, a round, full orbed eidolon. So, quite interesting. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.